Well, praise the Lord, greater faith. And um, I just wanted to come on and share a little bit of information as we go forward uh, out of 2021 into 2022. God has been faithful to Greater Faith Bible Tabernacle. I'm here in our sanctuary where we celebrated uh, not long ago, 40 years of God's favor, 40 years of God's hand upon this ministry, uh, 40 years of service in the community, and 40 years of God's hand of protection upon us as individuals, and yes, even as, as a church. Um, just this time last year, uh, we had an explosion right behind me in our boiler room where our furnace literally imploded and it could have, from what we were told, gone a whole different way. Uh, but God's hand of protection was on us. And we celebrated watch night. We were virtual, but we celebrated watch night for the few of us that were here in a cold sanctuary. But God has been good, God has been faithful, and God has been kind. We are preparing to worship God tonight in our watch night service, and I'm encouraging each and every one of you that are planning to be here in the sanctuary to join me in prayer at 9.30 p.m. as we pray into the service and look forward to God taking us into the next year. You know, the song says, time is filled with swift transitions, and we're in that kind of time, I believe, in season now. Many of you have already seen the news. You've already been talking about it, what's going on around the country, and yes, even in Western New York. And because of that, as I shared before, we want to be able to pivot when we need to, change when needed and when necessary. And though I felt the press um, and the unction of the Holy Spirit, I believe, to still have our watch night service. We had a wonderful prayer service this past Wednesday. I'm telling you, it was powerful, and I have received testimonies of the healing power of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To Him be all the glory and all of the honor. And I feel pressed of the Holy Spirit to have service here tonight, but I also feel pressed to begin a three-week virtual only time of worship in the tabernacle online. And so that we will worship tonight, uh, crossing over into the new year. We will not come back together until, the Lord say the same, until January the 23rd. This is out of prayerful caution for our in-person gatherings. And we'll continue to stream on Sunday mornings. We'll continue to stream on Wednesdays. I'm also including that we will not gather for Monday prayer, but we will institute a time of gathering um, so that we'll be able to stay in contact as the days go closer. I want to remind all of us that are connected to this ministry that we are still moving into our month of consecration that will begin on January the 3rd and will conclude on January the 23rd for our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And we gave you that schedule. We'll probably put some more information on the screen, but I want you to be safe. I want you to be prayerful. I want you to continue to not only pray for us, I'm asking as your pastor that you would pray for me, that God would continue to give me wisdom and give me guidance uh, as we seek to do the will of God in the safest way possible. Again, please stay safe. Please continue to stay prayed up. And I'm also going to urge you, stay connected. Whatever avenue we have as a church to stay connected, I'm asking you as members of this church and of this ministry to stay connected. January the 2nd, January the 9th, January the 16th, we will be virtual, but we're gonna do the best that we can to stay connected and continue to give you the word of the Lord. Stay tuned. I hope to see you tonight and continue to stay prayerful and stay safe. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you soon.